It's been a while since I was excited so much about single piece of fishing tackle, but there is a very good reason for it. Because here in my paws I have really a fantastic lure fishing rod. It's called Ace Hawk Angel Wing. Really, that's a steal for the money. So during this video I will have a very very close look to this rod. Also guys, be sure this video is not sponsored whatsoever because I paid for this rod out of my own pocket. So whilst you watch the intro I will reposition the camera to show you that rod in detail. Stick around. <laughs> Before talking about the rod itself, I will quickly talk about the bag the rod comes in. And if that's important to you, this is a very quality rods bag. As you can see, it has two sections in here, and that outer section is kind of very, very well padded with some kind of like a grid from from the outside. So yeah, very, very quality rods bag as well. One of the best quality rods bags I ever seen with any of my rods. Okay, so now about the rod. So I believe I will go from the or start with the butt section and we'll start with the end here. So basically, as you can see, it has a split section in here and th those two bits are made out of cork. The quality of the cork is definitely better than average. Very, very rarely you will see something better or I probably seen just probably on couple very expensive rods, the cork which was better. Then on the end here it has like a, I don't know, hard rubber or soft plastic. I mean, it's not exactly soft, but it's not exactly hard. And on the end it has like a cap as well. It says in here, well, it says nothing, just some kind of like a logo. And as you can see, the design or the theme of this rod is kind of gold elements. It has gold ring here, gold ring here, little trim here, an over trim, gold ring, cork section, an over gold ring, and then the real seat, even though it might look kind of basic or standard, but it has a section where the blank is exposed here as you can see. And obviously it will allow you to feel the bites better. And when you will hook a fish, it will be just more fun to play the fish with because you will be feeling every movement of the fish through the blank. So that's great. Then again, it has plenty of gold rings in here and it has some kind of a soft EVA foam or something trim in here. Basically when you hold the rod your finger most of the time will kind of be sitting on that soft bit. It's quite nice actually. I used the rod a couple times already, a couple longish sessions and yeah it definitely works, feels nice. Then we have the main logo in here. As you can see it says Ace Hawk, that's a brand or company. And here it says Angel Wing. It's a logo, Angel Wing I guess, and it says here special designed by Thomas. Don't know who Thomas is, but learned that he's a guy who designed this rod. Awesome. Now here we have the model code, so CT662MH. So this is the length of the rod as well, so 6 feet, 6.6 .6 feet and 2 inches or something like that, so around 2 meters. Then it says lure from 5 to 18, but again on the website they are saying that it's it's a mistake, it should be from 5 to 28. 
So, and when I was fishing with this rod, I was checking out about 25 gram lures. And that's true, definitely this rod is, I would say 25, 28, 30, something like that, definitely not 18. Then the line rating, it says from six to 15 pounds. And here is a logo with some writing in Chinese or Japanese, not too sure, but most likely it means that this rod is made out of carbon and you have to be careful when fishing around electric wires. Also in here it says Ace Hawk Productions kind of engraved on this metal trim. Then I forgot to mention it has some writing in here as well something like Ace 30P new generation sensitive also i will quickly measure the length of the handle so from the real seat to the end it's about 20 something can't fit it into the frame but yeah 20 23 and a half centimeters so nice and short handle and I like that. Now, as you can see, this section above the real seat, it has kind of crossed carbon. Again, it might look cool, but it serves a purpose as well. Basically, this section will be a little bit more stiff, if you like, because of that cross section. Then we see the first guide and this rod has one guide on a butt section. And the guides are quite fancy. They are made by a company called Sea Guide. And if you will see, the frame of the guide actually is kind of polished towards the uh, end of the rod or towards the tip. And obviously on the cast, it means that there will be very, very few problems when it comes to line wrapping around these guides. And I fished with these rods and they definitely work okay. So as you can see, I flipped the rod around to show you the end of the butt section. And as you can see, I hope you can see, not quite sure whether it's this bit is kind of visible that well to you on the screen, but it has some kind of a, like a cross carbon structure as well. It's not even whether it's a decorative element or it's just like a carbon which is used for this blank not sure but again looks very very cool okay now on to the tip section again the same deal those same fancy guides where the frame is kind of polished or just made out in the way that kind of it's smooth towards the tip. And on the tip section, there are nine guides. So in total, there are 10 guides and you will very, very rarely see that on such a short rod, like two meter rod, you'll find 10 guides. So it means, you know, that this is a quality piece of kit and every single guide he has a couple of those gold trims as well. Just flipped my rod around again, or my tip around. So, and when it comes to the tip, not much really to say about it. It has anti-wrap frame and it looks okay. And as you can see the distance here between the last guide and the one before last, is about probably five, six centimeters. Again, it helps with those uh, wrapping or wrap arounds. So it very, very rarely will happen with this rod and that's great. Now let's quickly see how heavy this rod is. And whilst I try to take a weight of this rod, I will say to this guys that there will be another video at least one where you will see me using this rod on the water and catching fish 
on paper the throat should weigh about 120 grams let's see if we can confirm that okay the butt section is 106 grams it will be true i guess quite difficult yeah so 121 so just a couple one gram actually more than stated that's good that's good enough for me definitely and now when it comes to the action of the rod obviously i won't show it to you that well in this video i can show a little bit actually where uh, when i was fishing and using this rod and it's very very good in my opinion for my taste this action is perfect but again it's fast with very very quick or fast tip recovery like super fast tip recovery this rod has and what else to say about this rod as far as i remember it's made of out of 40 ton carbon so high quality carbon is used for this rod which is awesome and just one negative really that's a mistake they made when it comes to the declaration of the casting ratings but they are saying on their website that they will fix that again it does not matter to me too much as far as i know that this rod can cast up to 30 grams almost i'm fine when it comes to the looks of this rod i quite like it again in my opinion that's the next best thing to having nothing on the blank or just plain black rod so all those logos and graphics and other trimmings they are not kind of flashy they are in my opinion classy and sexy if you like and they are just muted down they definitely not you know they are not looking like in your face flashy graphics or whatever so yeah the looks are okay for my taste and the real seat is comfortable definitely i paired this rod with a piscifoon alloy m and it balances nicely just here and the size of that reel for this reel seat and for this rod in my opinion is just bang on so who this rod is for or what are the applications when this rod should be used and in my opinion there are quite a few situations when this rod would shine first of all obviously bottom jigging when the angler will need the feel the bottom whilst fishing and when the bite indication is very very important because this rod is very sensitive with quite responsive and lively tip but it's not sloppy i mean the tip still is fast when it comes to recovery time then when you need any kind of presentation in midwater whether hard lure or soft lure but when the fish will be taking the lure quite gently and then you will need that kind of enhanced bite indication and this rod will shine in those situations as well when it comes to the fish species anything really perch pike it will be very good for zander as well because it has lots and lots of backbone to set the hook obviously this rod was designed for bass fishing but as i don't fish for bass i can't vouch for that but from what i've seen this rod will be perfect for bass fishing as well so yeah quite a few situations and this rod is quite universal again it will be as per your rods taste if you like if you like a little bit sloppier rods like slower in action maybe this rod will not suit you but if you want to have the rod which is very very sensitive fast action but also is very good when it comes to kind of handling the fish or playing the fish even though this rod has quite fast action but very responsive tip so to play the fish with it it's quite good and you won't lose many fish as well so yeah so saw my thoughts or initial thoughts about this rod also what i will say guys 
that I will leave links below for the thread. And also lastly, I will say this, that there will be at least one more video where I'm testing this rod on the water and I just won't be chucking around, I will be fishing actually and I will try to catch some fish whilst using this rod. Just more or less normal fishing situation or usual fishing situation. But that's it from me for today. Thanks for watching, over and out.